Uh, hey guys, it's uh, Digirex here, and I am going to show you something very useful for all you people out there who want to do stencils. And um, it's a, uh, this is just going to be a tutorial on how I do some of my stencils that I do on the computer, like this one that I just did, Ms. Monroe over there. So uh, let's get started. Alright guys, so this is the program you're going to want to use. It is called GIMP, and uh, there's the icon for it. And the uh, newest version of it is 2.6, I do believe, on the day of this recording. So, once you have your photo in GIMP, as we can see here, we have a lovely photo of Miss Marilyn Monroe. What you're going to want to do is, um, you're going to want to take your layer, your first layer, background, as it will be called and you're going to want to duplicate it so now I have background background copy and then you are going to uncheck one of the eyes and make sure you're working on the layer that has the eye and you're going to go colors threshold and you're going to set this one darker you can uh, play around with it wherever you want the uh, all the the threshold makes the image lighter or darker, as you can see. If we go over here, it'll be lighter, and if we go over here, it'll be much darker. You'll want to find for your darker one a place where you have a good amount of detail. So there, it's, it's pretty good. It uh, it looks like a one layer actually when you have your dark in, and then you're gonna go to your second layer. If you've done your dark layer, and you're gonna make sure you're working on it, make sure it's has a little eyeball checked and you're going to go colors thresholds again and you're going to set this one lighter for the lighter one um, doesn't need as much detail as the darker one because the darker one will obviously be your details uh, so I like the look of that, that looks pretty good so now that you've got your lighter, your lighter and your darker layers <coughs> Sorry, you are going to take your dark layer and you are going to go and select by color the dark in that layer and then you are going to fill it with uh, with a dark color. I'm using dark green here and that'll happen. Then you just deselect it all then go to your lighter layer select by color again, but select the lighter or the white I guess it is this time and using a lighter color fill that in um, there we go and now you have your lighter layer is filled with your lighter color and your darker layer filled with a darker color nice so then you are going to put either layer on top it doesn't matter and you are going to add a layer mask to the top layer it will be black full transparency and then you're going to change your layer mode from normal to multiply then simply just delete your layer mask and oh my it looks like a three layer stencil but this eh, I wouldn't really want to print this or draw this because it looks like blech, you know so merge your layers down so you have one layer now and then go colors desaturate and I like that yes I do and there you go folks you have a very simple but uh, just good very good starting three layer stencil I'm if you're just getting into stenciling and you don't really draw your stencils yet you uh, I would definitely definitely recommend doing this This is how I started and um, the good thing about this is you uh, you don't have to do much really you can print it off like this trace it on some trace it onto some acetate or wax paper or whatever or you can just print off three copies of this and cut out all your different colors and uh, you'll be making beautiful stencils in no time and uh, yeah just make sure you don't have any islands and 
you know, do it to it. Cut and spray. Are you kidding? I wasn't recording. Son of a 